welcome, welcome back to another edition of Dynamics Unplugged and specifically another edition of our series Dynamics 365 Finance and Supply Chain Management, Dynamics A to Z. Today we are back with the letter F and F is for fulfillment policies, something we can figure in the warehouse management module that allows us to provide control around how we want to uh, allow releases to the warehouse do we have ship complete policies in place do we have minimum thresholds of either dollar or quantity amounts that must be hit in order to release and start the pick and pack process for fulfillment of customer sales orders i will start today in the warehouse management module under setup release warehouses where we have our fulfillment policies i have three set up I do have the common example of a ship complete where my fulfillment rate is set to 100% of the quantity for the order. And if that amount is not allocated to the order, it will not be released. The user will get a fulfillment violation error message. And then I have two other fulfillment policies set up for my organization. Another one that is quantity based, 75% of the quantity must be allocated where the user will get a warning, although it will still allow release to the warehouse. And then half the value, so half of the price amount of the total sales order must be met and the order will go through and be accepted without any violation message or warning. Once I have set those fulfillment policies up, I can start to apply them to my organization and create some rules or hierarchy of rules for different scenarios. Starting in the accounts receivable module under accounts receivable parameters, and then the warehouse management tab, I can have a default sales order fulfillment policy for the entire organization. If there are not customer specific rules or customer group rules that must apply, this value will be the default that goes onto a sales order when it was created and be respected at the time of the release to warehouse process. If you have specific rules for specific customers, because there are minimums that must be met for ship complete or any other minimum threshold, you would set that on the customer account itself under the warehouse fast tab. We can see here my Drew Spruce customer has a ship complete fulfillment policy as its default. If I look at open sales orders for Drew Spruce, I do have this last sales order, sales order 1847. It's for 300 liters shipping out of warehouse 24. I'm going to go ahead and look at the reservation for that stock. Looks like there's 300 reserved, but if I look to the top left instead, only 176 units are physically reserved. The rest is on order, so linked to an incoming purchase order or inventory that will become available at a future date. So I'm not quite at 100% the quantity here. I'm just over 50%. I shouldn't be able to release this order to the warehouse. I'm going to go ahead and validate that and see that their fulfillment policy rule applies. So I'll go to the warehouse tab and click release to warehouse. And I immediately get an error that says the fulfillment rate of 100 was not met for this sales order. So we know it's working correctly, which is good. Then I'm going to click on my header. I'm going to see that the default fulfillment policy for Drew's Brews is ship complete. And I'm going to override it for this particular sales order. I saw that I had 176 units of the 300 physically reserved, which is more than half. I'll change my fulfillment policy to half value. And I'll release to warehouse. We can see this time. The order was released, my shipment's been created, I ended up getting work. So that one worked as well. We saw that no message was produced since accept was set as our fulfillment policy violation message, and we had over half of the amount reserved to the order. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cancel that work, I'm gonna delete the shipment and load, and we'll start over. Cancel my work. Load. 
time I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change to 75% warning. Now I'm going to release to the warehouse again. This is the third scenario. So this time my third message is invoked. I get a warning that the fulfillment was not met because I only had 176 units of the 300, which is not 75% of the total quantity. But since I set for a warning and not error, it was still released to the warehouse. My wave was created, my load was created. And in this case, I got one. So these fulfillment policies, whether I'm releasing manually from the release to warehouse button under the warehouse action ribbon on a sales order, or I'm going into the warehouse management module and going to release to warehouse, and I'm using either the batch jobs for release sales orders to warehouse automatic release of sales orders or going into one of the manual forms and doing it that way those rules will still be respected the one thing we didn't show is fulfillment policies can also be set for internal transfer orders for transfer orders the only difference is they can only be quantity based not price based and that's it for the letter F, Fulfillment Policies in Dynamics 365 Finance and Supply Chain Management. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time for the letter G.